We're back now with NBC News in depth as we continue our series we're calling Mind Matters. There's exciting new research about the power of the brain, including the power to restore vision that's been lost either because of stroke or injury. For a long time, doctors assumed this couldn't happen, but now there is new hope, as you'll see. A report from our chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell. When the green dot changes color, mm -hmm. you click on the mouse. Yeah. We first met Bart Goldstein three years ago. He was just beginning a new experimental treatment, visual restoration therapy for people who suffer brain injuries or strokes. Basically, I just want to try and get back in the swing of things. And these are expected vision response areas? Yes, exactly. These Dr. Randolph are, Marshall of Columbia University Medical Center heads attention. the experiment. I think there was a common misunderstanding that the visual system was not capable of reorganization and rewiring. And the evidence has been mounting for some time uh, that, in fact, it is. On December 29, 2001, Bart was in a terrible car accident that left him in a coma for a month. With physical therapy, he regained use of paralyzed arms and legs, but he had severe vision problems, and only the experimental treatment offered hope. The visual system can be exercised, worked on, trained in a certain way to help uh, recover its function. That's it. In the treatment, patients concentrate for hours on dots that appear on a screen and change position ever so slightly to rebuild nerves from the eye to the brain. We don't have to do any statistics on this to see some improvement yes. here. The therapy looks simple, but in fact it is based on complex new understandings of how the visual system in the brain is wired and how it can be repaired. I do one before school. A major benefit, therapy can continue at home on a personal computer. Bart says his hours of working at it have paid off. I used to just bump into certain people or just get blindsided quite often by certain little things on the right side. I want a lot of stuff. All right. Bart is now living on his own. Here's me with the seniors and stuff. His girlfriend he met in rehab, Melissa Chiarini, is also trying the visual therapy. The scientists say if the experimental treatment continues to work well, it could ultimately help thousands of people with sight damaged by brain injury or stroke. Brian? And Bob, while we have you, a lot of us woke up to radio news reports this morning of new numbers out on Alzheimer's. The Alzheimer's Association said that 10 million baby boomers, one in eight, will come down with Alzheimer's in their lifetime. Is that, is this a change? Is this anything new? No, it's not, it's no surprise. We have known numbers for a long time that 17% of people who survive above 70 and 42% of people who make it to 85 get Alzheimer's disease. So we have here the aging population. This is the dark side of all our medical miracles that are allowing people to live longer. And unless scientists find some better treatment, this is a horrible burden on millions and millions of American families. Oh, that's right. Bob uh, Bazell, thank you very much. When we come back here tonight, how a baseball game can be used for good.